So the process of what you call as spiritual is not a psychological process. Your memory has nothing to do with it. It's a life process, it's an existential process. This can only happen if you allow yourself to be just a piece of life that you are. To do this, we do many things here and you know, you might have seen people in the ashram walking around with those orange tags. You've seen the silence tags people are wearing, just shut up. Because shutting your mouth is only half the job. To become silent is possible only when you do not think much of yourself. If you think something about yourself, if you think I'm smart, how can you shut up? You tell me. If you think I'm smart, how can you shut up? If you realize that you're actually stupid, you don't know anything in this existence, then… isn't it? Then you can simply look at life with great sense of wonder, without a thought appearing in your mind. If you think you're smart about everything, you got explanations and calculations and nonsense going on in your head. If you see one thing, a thousand thoughts will go off, isn't it? You're not sitting here in the satsang totally silent. You're agreeing with me, disagreeing with me, making comments within yourself, making comments about the clothes that somebody is wearing next to you, appreciating it, depreciating it. Everything is happening. Am I wrong? Because the moment you think there is some value to what you think, then you can't stop it, no way to stop it. It'll just go on and on and on. When you see there is absolutely no life value to your thought process, it is just memory recycling itself. It's just the same old nonsense recycling itself. But if you're excited, if you're enamored by this recycle, if you think it's great, you cannot stop it. If you see the patterns of what it is, if you see the stupidity of what it is, then slowly you will distance yourself and it will collapse because without attention it cannot go on.